Good morning guys and um, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day for flat tummy and to prevent bloating. we all get bloated sometimes and including myself especially actually today I woke up feeling a little bloated so I thought let's film this video and I show you some tips and tricks that I do when I do feel bloated yeah and then I also want to do a little Q&A because I ask you guys on Instagram if you have any questions and so I'm gonna try to answer as many as possible and I just got dressed because we are gonna go skiing today so yeah just wearing a big sweater and some like ski underwear and I'm quickly gonna prepare some food to take in the car for like a late breakfast and yeah then I see you later for my Q&A and for everything I eat. Okay so for my breakfast on the go I'm making my muesli today which is from my new ebook Healthy Vegan and the exact mix of what is in here you find in my ebook and yeah it's super simple I have one apple some blueberries some grapes so one coconut yogurt and my muesli mix i take around four te uh, tablespoons of that mix it all nicely together in my bowl and then i have this for my takeaway so i'm gonna quickly chop everything up okay so my fruits are all chopped and now I'm using four tablespoons, more or less, of my muesli mix. So, all my fruits and muesli is done. It looks already so good. Now I'm gonna add the coconut yogurt and this is the brand I use. And when I'm in London, I use Koyo yogurt. I'm gonna add my yogurt. Hey, so my muesli is done and um, this is what I'm going to take with me in the car. That's perfect. Also, the coconut yogurt has coconut cultures which are really good for digestion and super nice when you're feeling bloated. And my glass is a bit too small, so I'm going to have the rest of the muesli now and then take this with me yummy okay so I'm gonna have this now and I used to actually make this muesli every single day when I was in school and I always made it in the morning and then took it with me for my lunch break and because it's super easy to make and quick and yummy and filling so yeah it's perfect also for anyone eating on a budget and I really love it so give it a little try mmm So, so good. I also love the combination of grapes and apple and blueberries. Mm, so good. And I never get bloated from it. It actually really helps my digestion. Um, and something I also take every morning are probiotics, which are a key for a good gut health. And you want to have a good gut health for a good digestion and not to be bloated. So those are purely plant-based and they're called probiotic. And I have a few different brands I like, but these are the ones I'm currently using. So it's like, one uh, pill per day. You can also put it in the smoothie or it's like eat it, take it like this. Um, so yeah, I'm taking this with my breakfast and I'm also making a fennel licorice tea and fennel tea is really good when you feel bloated. It's one of the best teas you can drink to improve your digestion. So yeah, I love the combination of licorice and fennel. So I'm gonna make this quickly now as well and have my breakfast <laughs> and then have the rest in the car. <laughs> Also, if you haven't bought it already, make sure you're getting the vegan bundle. Both of my ebooks are in the bundle. My first one, my healthy lifestyle guide with all my tips and tricks on how I got more tone and how I cleared up my skin because I used to suffer from really bad acne. And then my new recipe ebook, which has all my favorite recipes, including this yummy muesli. Um, yeah, so both of them are in the bundle. So the bundle has 60 ebooks in total and um, on all kinds of topics. So hundreds of amazing recipes, but also ebooks 
ebooks on how to balance your hormones, which I shared in my period video, what to eat to feel your best, how to eat more mindful, how to overcome emotional eating. It has meal plans and meal prep guides and just so, so much information. And you get all that for only $50, but just until January 9th. So you have just a little bit more left. Don't miss it. I'm sure you're going to regret it later. And then the deal is gone and all the ebooks cost their normal price again, which is $1,300 if you add them all up together. So <laughs> it really is the best deal and I hope you guys appreciate it because we wanted to give you guys something to start a new year with a lot of resources and information to make this your healthiest, your happiest and your most balanced one. Ready? Say hi to my brother. <laughs> so we made it to Andermatt and yeah, it's already snowy and cold. I'm so excited. And the weather looks great, super sunny. Ready to go. Look at the weather. So nice. I can't be nana, 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 I can't So we are taking a little break and just stopped at this restaurant here and I am gonna answer a few more questions. You were asking, are you doing another retreat? Yes, so I'm currently planning it. It's gonna be in Ibiza probably in May, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna share all the news as soon as it's all like fixed and booked and everything. And I wanna do more retreats also, so I'm thinking of doing another one in Bali, but for sure Ibiza in May. But I'm gonna share everything, but actually make sure to follow me on Instagram for it because that's where I'm gonna post about it. Next question, is there something within yourself you're right now working on to improve? Mm, that's a really good question. So right now I must say I feel very content and I'm so, so happy that I fixed my hormones and then I got my period back and that was the thing I wanted to work on last year and I feel like all my plans for last year became reality and yes no I'm in a really good place right now I just want to continue doing what I'm doing because it makes me really happy and then let's see maybe in the future little babies <laughs> but it's not planned yet okay here's also a good question regarding gut health in what order should we eat food what to eat first etc so in order to have a healthy gut I would recommend you guys start with the foods that are highest in water so fruits um, especially like melons and basically all kind of fruits go first and then eat your way up so the more dry fruits and more the cooked foods you eat last and you don't want to eat any raw foods after cooked foods because that's like really gonna interrupt your stomach and your digestion and that's the case for me usually when I get bloated and I just like eat without thinking about a good combination and stuff and then you get bloated what's your weight um, so this is a question you guys have been asking for years and I usually always didn't respond to it and I like, just avoided the question and I don't know I just felt like I don't want to be judged by people and I don't know people are very judgmental quickly especially in YouTube and then when I started like changing my diet a little bit like around a year and a half ago and started to gaining a bit of weight I don't know now I feel really healthy and I don't mind to talk about weight at all so right now I'm about 60 kilos and I'm 179 almost 180 and yeah it feels like that's like my natural body weight and my mom is the same so that's like a healthy good weight for myself and yes, I have to say before I was a little too skinny and I mean we all go through different phases here and there and I think we can we can all improve once in a while so don't judge quickly, you know, I have feelings too. It's not hurting me that much but seeing like negative comments on the videos is definitely not something that's very motivating. <laughs> so think twice before you say something. 
Okay. Next question. Do you count calories on your meals? I personally never count calories ever. I've never been a fan of that. I just eat whatever I feel like and I eat how much I want until I'm satisfied and full. I don't know, I feel like counting calories just takes a lot of fun and makes it very like as if you were following a certain plan and like, I don't know, I feel like we all should be a bit more kind to ourselves and just uh, listen to our bodies more. Period recovery. I get so many questions about period and I do understand because a lot of girls are suffering with that. Stay tuned, I'm going to do a video dedicated on my period journey <laughs> and give you all my tips and also show you maybe a typical day of eating to balance your hormones. Uh, let me know if you are interested in that. What are your favorite foods at the moment? So it's still winter time and right now I am loving I dates always, <laughs> every day. I also love all those sweet recipes from my ebook, especially the raw vegan Snickers, the power bars, the breakfast ideas. Oh my god, there's so many good things in so I'm just eating all my recipes right now they're just so good so focusing on local seasonal ingredients are you more a sweet or a savory person I am definitely a sweet person I love sweets I love fruits dates all my sweet recipes yeah like raw vegan desserts anything that's like caramel like and tastes like caramel and has dates in it and then I I mean I also really like savory things like pasta and pizza and salads and potatoes but I'm more of a sweet person. <laughs> What's your current winter breakfast? So I'm starting my day right now usually with a green smoothie and then I make a smoothie like a muesli bowl with my muesli recipe, also my ebook, or I make some like breakfast cookies or I have fruit, um, depending on the day, whatever I feel like. But I love like a warming, like a warm, yummy, comforting breakfast bowl is like you can't be that, it's so yummy. How to reduce bloating when you're vegan? Okay, so I feel like, um, especially when when you just go vegan like your stomach sometimes gets upset with all the veggies and the raw fruits and veggies so I sometimes I feel like eating a bit more cooked food is easier on your stomach in the beginning like my body is quite used to having lots of raw fruits and veggies um, but that could be a option you could look in and then food combining like what I said also before just like really like looking on the order you're eating and getting more into food combining and there is a whole ebook on food combining and healthy gut and all of that also in the vegan bundle and also in my first ebook there's a pyramid of there's a food combining chart yeah guys it's all in the bundle <laughs> What do you tell people who ask you and why you're vegan, plant-based? I don't really make it a big topic and when they ask me I just say, you know, it makes me feel my best. I love to eat fresh whole foods, I love the connection you have between you and nature and the way you feel, you feel so pure and clean in a way and I just, yeah, I love how it made me feel, it makes me so balanced and calm and happy and it has such a good impact on the environment. I feel like vegan is the future and it's the best thing you can do for your health. My hand is literally frozen. <laughs> so I am gonna go back to the restaurant. I brought my dried fix, so I'm gonna have that as a snack now. Or if they're done, I'm gonna have it in the car. We're gonna go for a little more skiing. And then I see you guys at home. So it is 3.30, we're back in the car to Lugano having my dried fix and I love them, they're so so good. Mm. So yeah, having my dried fix, I'm gonna finish all of them for sure because they're so good, I love them. Dried fix are so nutritious as well and actually I never get bloated from them unless I combine them with like other fruits so like this I eat them on its own and I find it really good for my stomach um, actually helps my digestion a lot they're super rich in fiber and yeah they get everything going so super yummy mm. I'm back home and having some major day. I always keep them in the freezer because that makes them just so much better. So yeah, I'm just snacking on a few major dates and then I'm gonna stretch for a little right here 
and then go into sauna again and then prepare dinner. So it's dinner time. I'm making my favorite super simple tomato sauce from my new ebook. And I'm quickly gonna show you the ingredients. So I have in here um, tomato passata, which is basically just pure tomatoes and nothing added. And then also some tomato paste. I'm gonna chop up some cherry tomatoes, lots of Italian herbs, half an onion, garlic, and I'm using these chickpea noodles. And it's actually the first time I'm trying these because usually I have like the brown rice spaghetti, but I thought they looked quite interesting. So yeah, this is just super easy on your stomach. And I don't know, I love when I come home at night, have like something warm and filling. And make sure to check out the vegan bundle. Um, you will never ever have a chance again to get 60 ebooks with so much inspiration, uh, so many recipes and meal plans and other topics like emotional eating and workouts and gut health. Um, and it's just so much information for only $50. So yeah, you have a few days left to get it i'm gonna leave the link down below um yeah so i'm gonna finish my pasta and then show you when it's ready and i eat gluten-free pasta because it's much easier on my stomach i never get bloated or get like an upset stomach from having brown rice pasta or like any other gluten-free pasta so if your stomach is quite sensitive i would definitely recommend you try gluten-free pasta there's so many options like these days lentil pasta chickpea pasta brown rice pasta yeah those are like my few favorites but yeah usually i have brown rice but this time i tried the chickpeas so this is my dinner and and yeah, super simple, uh, quick and easy meals and the recipes from my new ebook. So if you want more healthy recipes, make sure to get it. Okay, and I actually was super hungry. So I also made this salad, which I showed you already in my last video, but it's just so, so good. And yeah, it's one of my absolute favorites. So I'm going to have the salad first and then have my pasta, which is still cooking. And also these potatoes I made for Pear and my brother because they're having raclette. But I'm just going to have a few with my salad as well. So let's give it a little test. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Exactly what I was craving. So, super happy. So, it is the next morning and I quickly wanted to show you my stomach since this is a what to eat for a flat tummy video. So, yeah, woke up with a flat tummy and not feeling bloated or anything. I hope you guys found this video helpful and interesting. Um, if you do get bloated sometimes, make sure you're reading the gut health guide from the vegan bundle. I'm gonna leave the link below. It helped me so much and I'm sure it will help you too because being bloated is quite uncomfortable. I've been there many, many times. And yes, it's a topic I think we can definitely improve and there are definitely good tips you can do on a daily basis that help you so much. So make sure to check it out and I see you guys in my next next video. Bye guys!